Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, increase your uh, FPS in Jurassic World Evolution. This game is very well optimized for me. Uh, if I compare this game with the Planet Coaster, Planet Coaster, I had like a lot of struggle to run this game at 60 FPS uh, smoothly. Uh, this one is a lot better for me. So I will show you a couple of tricks that you can change uh, graphic parameters to increase your FPS. So first of all, we will use the config file to change the parameter in this game. So to find the config file, you have to go to users, uh, the, number, the uh, name of your computer, app data, local, frontier development, Jur Jurassic World Evolution, config local. Open the graphic setting here with uh, Notepad++. And you will have a file like that. If you don't have this file, uh, go to the game, just save, change one parameter, uh, graphic parameter, save it, quit the game, and go back to this file, and you will have all uh, the settings uh, from the game. So for me, really important, first of all, is the shadow. Quality shadow, put this at zero, reduce color here, false, and zero, cascade count. Um, this one will give you like 8 to 9 FPS depending where you are in the map, but just removing shadows in this game, you will gain a lot of FPS and, it will get, and your game will be a lot smoother. Also, all those uh, quality, water quality, wo uh, wind quality, rain quality, put zero here. The, this total will probably gain 6 to 9 FPS, again, depending on your if you have like a low-end computer or high-end computer, uh, for sure it will change. Uh, AA quality, remove it if you're still struggling to get your 60. Uh, in this game, the AA take a lot of resources. Uh, ambient inclusion, remove this too. You will gain 3 FPS with this one. Uh, well, as pulse process quality, same thing, remove this and you will get 3 to 4 FPS. Uh, when I say gain 3 to 4 FPS, I'm talking about high to low or off. Um, and again, for sure, if you have like a an Intel integrate chip in your computer, you will not gain a lot of FPS when you remove those uh, uh, graphic parameters. Detail object quality, same thing, put this one at low. Uh, and geometric quality, medium. Uh, this one I didn't see a lot of improvement. I saw more improvement on my AMD car on my 580, uh, but on my Nvidia, I didn't see a big improvement when you switch it. So yeah, that's about it. And the last one, screen space reflection. This one put it at zero. Uh, you will gain three to four FPS reflection. Again, it's taking a lot of resources in this game. Uh, so uh, make sure that uh, you're all set. So this is the config file that I'm using right now. I'm getting a steady 110 FPS with my 1070 uh, video card. And um, yeah, uh, that's about it. The only thing that I wanted to mention is the texture quality here. Uh, depending on your video card, if you have like a 3 gig and more on your video card, you you can play this game at high for texture quality. You have a lot of RAM, every RAM on your card. But if you have a, um, like something like 2 gig, maybe go at medium. And if you have less than 2 gig, for sure go at low and make sure that uh, you're not struggling with the texture quality. So that's about it, guys. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Your question, your CPU, GPU, RAM, and I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Peace.